Australian supercars about to dance. The talking points where the tyres tight racing. Let's add to the story and Brody gets a ripper start. Bolts down to turn one with a margin. His teammate covers and he's getting a bit of a helping hand from Bryce down there at the moment. Forward drops into third and it's on in the minors here at the moment. It's nose to tail and they've all checked up. Frosty takes advantage in the DeWalt entry and he blazes up a position as a result. What a beautiful start by Brody Kostecki. He gapped the field by three or four car lengths. Now down the inside, there's always drama here. Turn three on the outside. Caught out there, I think that's Matt Payne. And he was out of out the weeds and right out sideways. That's Van Gisbergen. Oh, in the fence, Frosty. In the fence for the DeWalt Camaro. That's hit quite hard on the way out of turn five. And what a shame, that car's got good pace this weekend. So he's got obvious damage and is now going to have to limp back. And how was Shane on the exit of turn four? He was miles wide. He probably got help out there, I would think. So Kostecki with a margin. It's just a little over six tenths of a second from Will Brown as they stand by in the Team 18 garage to get the DeWalt car in. Fullwood in third, then Davison. And margins have opened up here. How's that? In fact, there were about half a dozen cars that were exploring the extreme limits down there, and that was a nasty thud for Mark Winterbottom. Here's the other angle of it. Oh, that is going to be a big bruise on that car. He got uh, helped, I think, did he? Yeah. He got help with James Golding on the inside? I think it was, yeah. It's a bit hard until you can slow it all down, and our eyes are darting in every direction at the moment because Bryce Fullwood is now applying a lot of pressure on the back of Will Brown. Listen to the roar of supercars on the front straight at Albert Park. Kostecki, three quarters of a second over Brown. Oh, we've got trouble here, unfortunately, for Courtney. Flames billowing out in front of this car. That is not a good look. That's serious on fire, that one. And he's out. Well done. Well done to all the other teams there that have contributed. Grove Racing. There were other teams also that were assisting and a bump and grind. There's more going on back in the pack here. They're three wide at turn four. Chas Mostert finds new ground out there. Anton Di Pasquale on the outside. We've also got Heimgartner and round goes Di Pasquale and this is going to be contact with the inside wall as well. Damage on both ends for the shell car. What a catastrophe. And Macaulay Jones, too, caught up there. So, Macca was involved at the back end of this. Watch closely. So, he turns in across. He got bumped by Payne. Yeah. And then that... Safety car boards up and flags. Pit lane is closed. Pit. With Anton. Have a look at the intensity of this fire. Yeah, not a good look at all, is it, unfortunately. And uh, we know from what happened to Nick Percat that... The damage that is sustained when these cars are on fire is so extreme. So James has been able to get down. He's actually been guided in by his team and the marshals. And they're quickly on the job there to try and get that thing under control. But that's going to be a lot of damage. James, fortunately, out of the car. We'll get to the lane quickly. James, first of all, mate, uh, good to see you smiling. So clearly you're OK, although you're covered in fire extinguisher material. Uh, yeah, I saw the flames. And I said to the guys I could smell something. 